Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. So we're talking concussion, let's go up and we're talking concussion, it's probably gonna be Deontay Wilder, right? Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. You know, a fight that we're waiting for that trilogy, whatever it's gonna happen. We don't know what. We know one damn thing that ain't gonna happen. Deontay Wilder ain't stepping aside for Anthony Joshua and, and Tyson Fury to have a unification fight, and neither is Kubat Pulev. So we're gonna get that. That's a good thing, a wise thing from Deontay Wilder, because viewing what people think about Tyson Fury nowadays. I uh, might do an extra video about it, but basically Tyson Fury is the man, right? Everybody's ignoring the circumstances, but he's the man, right? So let's leave it at that in this video. I'll get to that in another one. Bottom line, so Deontay Wilder has it all to gain by fighting Tyson Fury and only him right now. Nothing else. Tyson Fury is the very best heavyweight. People don't think no one else can beat him. So that's what you do. You fight him, right? That's all you got to do. But it's very, very alarming to see that no one cares about what happened. You know, we're talking about Tyson Fury's gloves. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the doping issue with Tyson Fury had, right, with Nandrolone and Martin Carefoot came out and said that he didn't give him wild boar meat. But I'm telling you, that's been about two months, and we haven't heard anything from that 70-year-old guy. 70-year-old guy. It doesn't take that long to interrogate the man, right? So basically... I think UK be and them are paying them to shut up. That's what I'm I'm just gonna say it. That's what I think. There's no reason in the world why the heavyweight champion of the world, the one who just beat Deontay Wilder, the most dangerous and hardest puncher we've had in a long, long time, with all that exposure, we don't care about what happens to this story. Imagine you got caught doping, you said that it was a wild boar, you paid the man to, to tell you that it was a wild boar, and he came out and said it wasn't, and no one cares. And so speaking of no one caring about that, no one really cares about the gloves, right? Now, we're talking Tyson Fury here. We're talking a guy who had a fight stopped with Christian Hammer. Just go look at it. Christian Hammer, the fight was stopped. The referee was disgusted that the gloves were tampered with, right? Now, Deontay Wilder's fight, we've seen it on both occasions that the gloves, his hands are not all the way, all the way in the glove. Now, some have come in and say, hey, you know, uh, that doesn't give him advantage, and some have said that it does. Now, viewing that a whole lot of people have said that it does, you know, people that's box, Steve Cunningham, Charles Martin, those are boxers, Errol Spence, George Groves, Joey Spencer, you know, so many people and his sparring partners have come out and told you that he's done it in, in, in sparring, often, two different sparring partners. Isn't that enough to at least investigate? That must mean that you know, either Brothers or Deontay Wilder is so awesome in most people's eyes that they don't even care. They don't care. They really don't care. I think he could have basically took out a baseball bat and hit him, and they wouldn't have cared. You know, WWE style, right? But this fight reminds me a little bit. It, you know, has a little serial similarities to people that are old enough to know Roy Jones Jr. Not the ones that's YouTubing him now. If you live through that, you Roy Jones Jr., the wow factor of, you know, like, I'm way better than everybody, that's Roy Jones Jr. You was like, damn, every time you watch, man, this dude is crazy. That's how it was. Well, he had haters, too. But Roy Jones was all that. From middleweight, I think he even started at junior middleweight, but I'm not positive. But middleweight, super middleweight, light heavy, went up to heavy to beat John Ruiz, who was, John Ruiz was all that because John Ruiz had good fights with Evander Holyfield. But anyway, Roy Jones' first loss was kind of controversial, Montel Griffith. Now, he fought a guy, Montel Griffith, a little bit, of, you know, a good mover. Shorter than Roy Jones, right? Which not most of his opponents were. Shorter than him, and he kept his, you know, his legs spread apart, and he had a lot of great upper body movement. So it was hard, for, even for Roy Jones, to catch this guy, right? Even for Roy Jones to catch this guy. So when Roy Jones caught him and um, had him down, but while he was on the knee, Roy Jones hit him, right? And he was already throwing him combinations, but he hit him. What he did, he did one of them do. What dude did to Gamma Rigging down too, but I forget his name. So what he did, once he hit Montel Griffin, Montel Griffin went out. Like, like the lights was out. He just, you know, I don't, we don't know. I don't want to just say, but I thought it looked like, he was like, you know what, I'm going to milk this. Because Roy about to get mad up in here, you know. <laughs> I'm going to milk this one. So Roy got disqualified. 
right? And he probably shouldn't have, but then again, you know, 50% would say he probably should have. The dude was already on one knee. So that pissed Roy off, I'm sure, because he had his first loss and he probably shouldn't have had it. So he came out and the next time they fought and demolished the guy, round one or two, with a left hook. He had kept him with left hooks, but he hit him with one to just put him out and made him do. The guy did a Trevor Burbick. For those who know, when Mike Tyson hit Trevor Burbick with a left hook, the Burbick tried to get up because he was so, so, you know, had so much pride that he was trying to get up and he couldn't. That happened to Montel Griffith. He was all over the ring, right? And so Mike uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder is similar in that Deontay Wilder got cheated on, basically, and no one cares. Now, if you're Deontay Wilder, right, or, or Jordan Mayweather for that matter, and you do these awesome things, like you keep knocking people out and they, they weigh an average of 30 pounds more than you. People keep talking about your technique. Like, who gives a damn what technique if he's not cheating? What does, what does the technique have to do with it, right? I'm knocking these big old dudes out that all of them box longer than me. The name named Gerald Washington. Everybody else boxed longer than he did. So that's awesome. That's just period. It's awesome. I've been watching boxing or any other sport long enough to know. I saw the Deontay Wilder ride. Ridiculously awesome. You don't knock these people out. You can win some, be in close draws, you know, got a split decision loss on your record. How are you going to just knock out 41 people in a row? That is ridiculous, right? So that was awesome. Now, he got stopped by Tyson Fury, right? Now, Tyson Fury's hitting him with a Knocked him down with a rabbit punch. His ear was bleeding. Now we know he has an injury that is not, uh, you know, not in correlation with being hit with a glove. There could have been something else in there. He might, it might have been a foreign object. We're not going to go there. We don't know. But his injury is not an injury that would happen from a glove. Right? And we, we've seen that his gloves are up. And his, his bare knuckles was going, hitting bone on bone, probably. So if you're Deontay Wilder, not the fools that don't give a damn about nobody or hate him without knowing him, but any person, right? Gloves is probably, do, tampering with the gloves is probably the worst transgression you can have in boxing, followed closely by doping, right? Because doping, if you have stamina, then the other dude's getting tired naturally and you still hitting on them late, that's dangerous. Or you have extra power that you shouldn't have, that's dangerous. But if you're hitting people with knuckles when you shouldn't, that's life-threatening. And we saw that with the fight in the 80s. I forget the guy's name. I think it was Billy Collins or something like that, fighting a Mexican guy or a Latino for sure. And Latino, this was the guy, I think it was from Scotland or something. He was really uh, doing well. He was a prospect. He hadn't lost yet. And he was in a bomb burner of a fight with this guy. And, you know, then he lost, a, a I think, a split decision something to this guy and they found out after the fight that the guy's gloves were tampered with he was suspended i think for life for for tampering with the gloves you know taking taking the padding out suspended for life but the guy who was who, you know um, i forget his name was billy something anyway you know he killed himself a few a few years later he fell into the de depression you know his wife was got scared of him had to go move to, to her mother but he was scared of him he was never the same person and people, that's what we got to forget about. It's not just boxers. These are people. So that's life-threatening when you don't, when you do something with your gloves. So to ignore that means y'all don't care if you, what if something happens to Deontay Wilder? Did you hate him that much that you don't care that might something might happen to him? And then if that's the, the case, then why? What, what, what is it? Is this little skinny old tall dude that's fighting heavier dudes? You know, we do realize that the guy, other guy was 40 pounds heavier and bigger than him, with a lot more experience. Hence, I know how to do these damn gloves. And it's all over the net, which is ridiculous that no mainstream media is talking about it. And it's starting to get embarrassing mainstream media. What's going to happen is it's going to trickle down to, to um, casuals, and no one's going to be listening to mainstream media, like me. When they start talking boxing, I totally ignore them. Yeah, I, I listen to what they're saying, but I ain't hear it. You know what I mean? Because it's like, whatever. Because I know that you guys are agenda. I go back and tell you, everybody ignored an undisputed fight between Canelo Alvarez and Demetrius Andre like it wasn't there. So, you know, it's things. Racist emails from Golden Boy to Ring Magazine, and no one talks about it. Man, God, what are you supposed to do? I'm supposed to listen to those people that are ignoring stuff like that? So, it's done here. But I'm just saying, 
most people are not that deep into it to, to realize these transgressions and realize how evil these people are and how gender based it can be. But the gender based is a nice way to say it, right? Because this is just absolutely absurd. So Tyson Fury allegedly, I'm going to put them up there because this is a whole bunch more than allegedly, cheated on a whole lot of fronts. And he has a history of doing so. So it's worthy of investigation. But if it's not, then how would you feel if you're Deontay Wilder? You're like, you know something, you're totally disappointed. But Deontay Wilder has been disappointed a long time ago. You know what time it is. But he's probably extremely disappointed. And back to what Roy Jones did to Montel Griffith, that's what I think is going to happen to Tyson Fury. As awesome as Tyson Fury is and all that, he's going to get waxed. And he's going to get fought the way he's fighting Deontay Wilder. Right, which might not, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, last dude Dante Wilder was swinging at that he didn't really care. Wasn't that Audrey Harrelson? You remember them? We just swing. He didn't give a damn. Remember them, right? Or that dude he met in the internet that was talking smack. You don't want him swinging like that. You don't want him swinging like that, right? I'm gonna tell you, that's what's gonna possibly happen to Tyson Fury if people don't at least investigate what he's done. Because if not, there is no reason. For Deontay Wilder to have love for this man anymore. You know what I mean? They got a little love for each other and, and mutual respect. But when you know that this document, this guy has been has been cheating, you know, and, and everybody knows that he was doped before, right? But we're leaving that out. And he still got an opportunity given to him from Deontay Wilder. But to to cheat twice against Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder sitting back and watching nobody do anything about it, somebody up for ass woman. That's what possibly going to happen, right? So let's see what happens going forward. I got a lot more to say about that. But um, I'm just thinking, you know, Tyson Ty Fury is really awesome. He's an awesome fighter and all that. But we saw Steve Cunningham. We saw Otto Wallen, right? And I don't know why we're acting like we're forgetting that, you know, he's been in close fights. And don't even get it twisted. McDermott, for crying out loud. A fight that he probably lost, right? The first McDermott fight. If you don't believe me, go watch it. So it's not like Tyson Fury is heads and shoulders above everybody else like no one else has an opportunity and when you're talking to Deontay Wilder he's knocked him down twice right and let me tell you something else personally I don't think Deontay Wilder would cheat I don't think he would he would cheat I know I'm that type too I wouldn't cheat at the game of cards game of cards I wouldn't care I, uh, oh I, I won I didn't win if I didn't win and I can live with that but if I won I ain't trying to cheat and there's people like that out there I don't think Deontay Wilder would cheat. I don't think Guillermo Rigondeaux would cheat. I don't think Terrence Crawford would cheat neither. I just don't. There's just certain things you could just see. I just don't. People are chasing greatness. And when you're doing that, you're not looking for shortcuts. That's the way I see it. Let's see what happens with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I think that at least, you know, to satisfy a lot of people, right, I just unfortunate that a lot of people that they would have to satisfy look the same. But they should start thinking about at least investigating to see what's going on, to make sure that Tyson Fury is not going to do this again, which he's probably not anyway, not in this next fight. But the fact that he has a track record, you want to do something about that. It first of all to help Tyson Fury, to make sure he understands that you know, dude, we love you, but we don't we don't want you to cheat. And if you're the type of person that doesn't care that he cheats, then basically I'll be honest with you, the hell with you then. You know, because we love, we're talking about fair sport here, period. If not, everybody can start doping and kind of do everything they want to do. And we don't care if somebody dies in the ring. But most of us do. Dome Sports Talk, world, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.